Assalamu alaikum and good morning from Cape Town here in South Africa. In this video, I'll be taking you around parts of South Africa and telling you about how much it costs here. But we're going to start right here in the hotel that I'm staying at. If you're new here, my name is Jubair Ahmed and I make travel videos from around the world. So please be sure to subscribe and like this video. Now, we're at the hotel called Cape Town Hollow Boutique Hotel. And what's awesome about it is this amazing view that you get from the balcony area. Now it is just a walking balcony, but you get this amazing view of, of uh, the table mountain here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you around the room and show you a few things. Um, so it's a very spacious room, as you can see here. Now, the windows, it's a, it's, a, it's a boutique hotel, so it's a single glazed windows. That's the only thing. So you do get a bit of sound, but it's not too bad, to be honest with you. But yeah, you have a double bed here. You have tea, coffee facilities over here. You have a nice desk. You have storage areas over here. You have a, a pretty decent and modern bathroom with a walk-in shower and stuff. So as you can see, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a bad hotel. It's a pretty decent. It's um, quite spacious inside. And one of the things I really love about this hotel, and that's just me, is that it's got carpet on the floor. So it's just nice and soft when you're walking around and stuff. So, but yeah, like I mentioned, um, this here is probably the unique selling point. Just wherever, wherever you are, wherever you are in the room and you're looking at this view, you could be lying down in bed right here. You get an awesome view. And so this hotel is not that expensive. This hotel with breakfast included and with this kind of view of the mountain, it costed us 43 pounds which i believe is around just above 50 dollars um and it's around a thousand rand here in south africa so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go downstairs get into my car the only thing is obviously there's no um car parking here at the hotel so there's a hotel just over there um you can actually park your car there and it will cost you 85 rand uh, per day which actually is not too bad um 85 rand is around like four pound fifty a day and you can keep going in and out so that's the only thing uh, there's no parking available but yeah let's go outside um something about load shedding i should mention load shedding is when the electricity just cuts off here in south africa it's something very common throughout the entire country so if that does happen there is a light which you can use at night time the wi-fi will carry on working but everything else will be off obviously except for the water obviously so let's head on outside go down here and uh, go and get the car and i'll tell you a little bit more about how much the car cost all right guys so when i was telling you guys about uh, the hotel where you can park it's actually called the capital 15 on orange so keep that in mind so you have to walk up this way over here and uh, there's parking facilities where you can go and uh, collect your car um so the hotel is just over there it's not too far literally just there not too far at all so just keep that in mind uh uh, that's the only thing so if you've got people who have accessibility needs and stuff like that you can go and get the car the driver can go and get the car and then come back here um, but if you have accessibility needs yourself and you're driving here you should speak to the hotel they might be able to make arrangements so here's the car park let's go and get the car and i'll get it out into the light here to show you and tell you the cost all right guys so i'm um, finally outside with the car so as you can see this is the car that we've got here this is the toyota urban cruiser as you can see it's a pretty decent car to be honest with you uh, we've got quite a bit of space at the back uh, really big uh, boot size as you can see over here now this car here costed us around um, 180 pounds for seven days uh, so that's 25 pounds a day uh, probably around 32 dollars or something like that so it's not expensive at all uh, it's got full insurance and everything like that um, as you can see the car's in really good condition quite nice and modern and you know new and stuff like that um, and the deposit for the car was about 200 pounds you need a credit card your driving license and stuff like that so yeah um 25 pounds a day for this car i think 25 pounds in uh, runs would probably be i don't know like maybe 600 rands or something like that so it's not a bad price quite affordable and so we're gonna head off now in this car all the way down here and see what we find all right guys so we've made it to the table mountain how can i start this trip without visiting the table mountain it's just here on my left hand side as you can see amazing views of the mountain and uh, 
reason why it's called a table mount is because it's flat at the top. Now, um, so now with going up, there's actually a way that you can go up using by hiking, but we're actually using the uh, the cable cars because it just is quite scenic and it's a nice and interesting way to get up there. So as you can see behind me, you get some awesome views of Cape Town, and because the sun's kind of looming over the mountain, um, it's quite misty around here. All right, guys, so we're now going to buy some tickets for the cable cars. And once you park your car up over there, then you can actually head down here to buy your tickets. Um, and there's quite a few shops and stuff like that around here as well. Um, so you'll drive all the way up. There's Google Maps location for the cable cars. I'll put that in the description. And then when you get here, you just drive all the way down and you go and park your car, buy your tickets from the left-hand side. There's a ticket booth over there. And I'll tell you how much it costs once we get there. All right, guys, so I just purchased my ticket now. And as you can see, the ticket office was just over there. And um, so for a ticket, it costs 395 rand, which is about 17 pounds to go on the cable cars. And I'll show you what the excuse is like anyways. They'll give you a ticket and then you walk all the way up this way here, as you can see. And you basically uh, join, get on the cable car. So let's make our way there. I'll see you guys when I get inside. All right, guys, so we have finally made it to the top of the table mountain. We are a thousand meters over a thousand meters above sea level and as you can see the views around me are absolutely spectacular it's just so awesome to be on top of here i've wanted to come here for a really long time now and it is absolutely worth the 395 rand to come on top of here there is of course an option where you can actually i'll just walk around here show you some awesome views and tell you a few things about um prices and um, which way you should go about um, coming on top of here but there's a few ways and um, there's two ways that you can actually make it uh, to the table mountain one way is actually by taking the cable cars which i just showed you the other way is actually hiking up um, so i would personally recommend as a first time that i've come here i would say that you should either hike up or hike down and take the cable car one way only it just makes it a bit more interesting and kind of if you can obviously that is it just makes it a bit more interesting and it changes the landscape so it mixes things up you get different views and stuff like that so definitely interesting it's just literally entered and i got stuck here because the views are just so awesome i'm gonna walk around and see what else i can find inshallah all right so behind me guys we have this behind me we have the city sightseeing cape town bus the red hop on and hop off bus as you can see over there and it has an awesome kind of like um a view from the top it costs like 275 rand for a one-day ticket uh, which is around 12 pounds, uh, maybe 15 dollars. Uh, it cost 375 rand, which is around 16 pounds for a two day ticket, and 445 rand, which is 20 pounds for a three day ticket. Now, the one day ticket, um, and two day ticket, and three day ticket they include a free guided walking tour, and the second, uh, the two day option and three day option, they include a few more things like canal cruise and stuff like that, um, sunset bus as well. So this is a definitely a good option if you want to explore more of Cape Town and you don't have a car hire and uh, yeah you can just hop on and hop off uh, many places and just explore. We're currently at the Table Mountain as you can see we took the cable car on the top. So obviously just remember it doesn't include the prices of admissions for places that you'll visit but it's definitely a good option and quite affordable as well if you come to Cape Town and explore the city. Ordered some sandwiches right now and these sandwiches here I'll just show you here they are it's a chicken mayo sandwich and it comes with crisps on the side and we ordered it from a place called Bokap Deli. Let me show you that just over there. And so these sandwiches costed us, this one, chicken mayo costed us 65 rand per person, which uh, 65 rand for the crisp and it comes for the sandwich and it comes with crisps. So that is around 65, this may be around just what, two pounds and 20 or 30 pence. So. Uh, it's a little bit more pricey than other places that I've been to, but it's still not that bad actually for a, for a hot sandwich uh, in comparison to UK prices. All right, guys, I'm currently in a shop called Moro Gelato, which is one of the places that was recommended to me for ice cream. And as you can see, they've got some really nice flavors here, caramel cookie crumble, my cheese, I think Imakis and hazelnut. And the prices are over here, so you can get a small tub for 44 rand. You can even get something called uh, Afrogate. 44, 46 rand. Um, I'm getting something scoops are normally around 44 rand, uh, which is around two pounds. Um, you can get like um, on a cone, similar 44 rand for two pounds. Thank you so much. So I've got this thing. This is called affogato, right? Yes, affogato. And uh, thank you so much. Yeah. So I've got something called affogato here. It's basically this Marquis ice cream. 
uh, over here. I think it's called Marquis. Vanilla from Tahiti with mac mac macadamia butter and caramelized almonds with double, sh double shot of espresso. And that cost 46 rand, as you can see, just over there, which is basically like two pounds. So it's quite cheap, actually. And it comes in this really nice kind of uh, glass jar. So I can't wait to dig into that. All right, guys, so now we're gonna check out some of the prices for foods here. We're at this place that a lot of people recommend called Fish on the Rocks, as you can see, just over there. And this is in the Hout Bay kind of uh, area. So we're gonna go inside, check out some prices, and then we're gonna get some food. I'll tell you the cost of the food. I'll try to show you the menu as well. And that should give you an idea of how much the food costs here, like fish and chips and stuff like that. But this is highly recommended by a lot of locals. So definitely if you do come to Cape Town, this is the place to come. But as you can see, the views around here are absolutely stunning. There's a lot of uh, birds here, so just be careful. All right, guys, so I've just got some fish and chips. So it's called hake and chips here. And this here is quite a decent sized. A hake and chips is 95 rand. So 95 rand is probably around maybe three pounds, 50 pence. I'll put down how much it is in dollars here. Uh, but I think it's around 4.5 dollars or something like that. Then we also have a burger which my wife got. As you can see, this is a fish burger with chips, and this costed around 65 rand, which is basically around two pound fifty, I think. So it's not bad. And if you're interested in prices, I'll put up a kind of a still image, still video of uh, the prices here right now. Guys, so I've currently come to the beautiful area of Bokap, as you can see the colourful houses of Bokap, which is one of the more kind of very touristy areas, one of the more historical areas, very interesting and table mount in the background. We've come to this restaurant called uh, the Bismillah restaurant. Gonna check out some of the prices in here. Cool. All right guys, so we've ordered a Denning Blais. This is like a Cape Malay dish, a traditional Cape Malay dish. And it's basically like a lamb chops in a sweet sour brown onion tamarind sauce. For this, with the rice and with the mashed potato, as you can see, is 165 rand. So it's quite affordable. But then we also have dal here, which is like the yellow dal, lentils. This was 95 and it also comes with rice. And then we've also got this uh, mutton curry here. Uh, this is lamb cooked with uh, traditional Cape Malay spices. And this was 169. Now we did order roti as well, a flatbread, which uh, we're waiting for. Uh, you also have some milkshakes that you can get. Milkshakes cost around, let's see, um, 30 rand, which is quite cheap. And then you also have like these canned drinks that you can get. And these normally cost around, let's see, uh, 25 rand. So it's quite affordable, very affordable. So we're gonna dig in right now and then we'll go to the, go to a petrol station to show you some prices of, of petrol, E and diesel. All right, guys, so I've eaten that food. That was absolutely delicious. A really, really good food. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's in a good area. It's in a very touristy area. So, you know, um, you will have a, a nice place to eat. Um, but now anyways we're moving on and we're driving towards a petrol station because I just want to show you guys the cost of fuel actually I might be able to get it from here you have the amazing table the part of the table mountain behind as you can see just over there and the fuel prices as we'll get a little bit closer but it's 22.62 rand for unleaded and uh, it's for diesel is 21.48 so we're talking like literally um, less than one pound for petrol. Uh, I mean, it's around 99 pence, I think it is, for petrol. And for diesel, we're talking, it's 21.48, as you can see, just over there. As we get a bit closer, these are the prices. The first one at the top is petrol, and then the bottom one is diesel. So it's not really bad prices here. Um, here in Cape Town, it's actually quite affordable. Um, so, like I said, it's about a pound, a dollar, a dollar fifty, maybe less than that for euros. It's about a euro twenty or something like that. So it's not bad prices actually. So we're driving. Let's see. Let's see where we end up. And I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna try to cover a little bit about grocery shopping as well. So we might head there next. And um, I'll also tell you about uh, SIM card prices. Um, what I did for my SIM. 
All right, so one of the next things that's uh, important for a lot of tourists and travelers that come here to Cape Town or Johannesburg is uh, buying the SIM card. So I actually bought a SIM card in uh, Johannesburg. Um, if you fly into Cape Town, I'm not sure if you fly directly, you'll probably fly into Johannesburg first. But whatever the case, um, these are kind of uh, roundabout prices that you can find. Um, it's not necessarily that you'll find these prices only in Joburg. So I bought a SIM card and I've actually got the prices right here. So what will happen when you land, you'll give your passport and a payment card or whatever it is, pay by cash, whatever. It's Vodacom that I went with. So I don't know about the price of the other places, uh, but I actually got a, um, now these are not the actual price of the airport. So I'm going to tell you some of the price. I'll put a picture up. So ignore this actually. There's a 14 day bundle that you can buy, uh, two gigabyte for 185 Rand. You can get five gigabytes for 399 Rand. You can get 10 gigabytes for 499 Rand. I went for the 30 day uh, data bundle because I'm here for more than 14 days. So you can get 20 GB for 599, uh, 50 GB for 799 and 100 GB for 999. So I've uh, I've put the prices up here uh, in runs and I've also put it up in so you can see how much it costs in dollars and also in pounds. I went for the 100 GB. Um, so far, the service has been really, really good. I've had no issues whatsoever. You get 15 minutes of call time because people mostly use WhatsApp to call here. So it's actually a, a really good way of um, uh, calling people and getting in touch. Everyone's got WhatsApp here. The network has been really good. I've had no issues. In some parts, uh, there's been some issues with a network like high up mountains and stuff. But I would say one of the best things about buying a lot of data is that there's a lot of load shedding here. So it's really useful to have data on your phone. Um, so you can then use it as a hotspot for your uh, for your laptop if you want to do work And I did that and I've had no issues whatsoever So we're gonna quickly go and check like prices inside a supermarket and we'll end the video at um, one of my kind of uh, Favorite places here in all of Cape Town so I can show you some awesome views So let's head off to one of the supermarkets and I'll show you the prices there I'm gonna head over into a supermarket to show you some of the prices here I'm currently at the supermarket called Checkers which one of the popular ones here. There is also another supermarket called Pick and Pay and Woolworths. Uh, but I thought I'll give this one a try and see what it's like. Um, so yeah, let's head on inside Checkers and see what the prices are of random things. Which should give you an idea of how much it is here. We have bananas for a kg, 19.99 rand. 20 rand, which is less than one pound here for a kg. We have also water bottles for 11.99 rand uh, you've also got water bottle here as well for 8.99 a bit cheaper like less than 50 pence and some for 10.99 as well so got milks over here so let's see how much the milks are like 34.99 rand 35 rands you've also got different sorts of milk there you've got cream fresh milk here for 35 rand you've got more here 35 rand as well got low fat milk so 35 rand seems to be the price for all the milks you've got smaller ones for 14.99 rand as well you've got like tea bags here for like 34.99 rand and some tea bags for 44.99 and then you've got like tea bags here for 52.99 so you've got some breads over here this is white bread for 21.99 rands you've also got like a uh, some breads down there, premium slices, brown bread for 17.49 rands. We've got eggs over here. So you've got six free range eggs for 26.99 rands. But you've got more, if you come with a family, 64, 64.99 rands. Plenty of options here and at good prices as well. Here in the cereal aisle and you've got like cocoa pops for 54.99 rand. Then you've got like corn flakes as well. As you can see, Kellogg's for 49.99 rand. And you've got like brand flakes here for 64.99 rands. Hopefully that should have given you some kind of an idea of how much groceries and staple items cost here in Cape Town, South Africa. We're gonna head off uh, to a really nice viewpoint now and I'll uh, end the video there, uh, show you some clips of the journey along the way and uh, yeah um, see if we come across anything interesting but i'll meet you guys at the viewpoint all 
All right, guys, so this is an awesome place to end the video. I'm currently in a place called Pietro Ferrero Viewpoint. And it's this entire area really where you can get some awesome views of the sunset just over there. And you have a view of an area called Landudno just down there with an awesome beach. But uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have found it beneficial. Um, and I hope it really helps with budgeting and costs and things like that. If you have any questions, please do leave me a comment. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and also um, comment on this video and also switch on that notification bell button so if you do upload new videos, you'll get a notification. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in another video. Take care, goodbye, and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu from Cape Town here in South Africa. Just show you guys another view, another glimpse of this awesome view here in Cape Town.